The monsoon can be a destroyer, bringing chaos and destruction. But like Shiva, it also brings rebirth and new life. The challenge for all is not simply to survive the monsoon, but to grasp every opportunity it offers. Puddles and pools are forming everywhere, perfect for frogs and toads. For this female Indian common toad, the first rains mean she can breed at last. And she must hurry, for it's a one-day event. A suitor awaits. In fact, there's a whole crowd of them. Prompted by the monsoon rains, the males have all turned yellow for this one special day. They may dress to impress, but they don't waste time with niceties. You might think the colour would help tell the girls from the boys, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. After all, today could be their only chance to sire a new generation. The first tadpoles to hatch out will have a crucial head start in the race to grow before the waters recede again. Just two weeks after the first rains, another creature begins to emerge from the monsoon pools. Having grown up as an aquatic larva, the adult mosquito is water repellent. Her mission is also to reproduce. But it's a dangerous new world for one so small. Raindrops can reach speeds of over 30 kilometers per hour. For a mosquito, you might think that's like being hit by a bus. But scientific research has recently revealed how mosquitoes flying in the monsoon cheat death. They are so water repellent that most raindrops simply glance off them. A direct hit looks fatal. But the insect is so light and flexible that she can absorb the impact and shake off the drop as though nothing had happened. Insects multiply. For many, they are the monsoon's curse. Female mosquitoes need blood to grow their eggs. Cases of malaria increase by 10 times during the monsoon. It brings perils, but 
also wonders. This is the magic of the monsoon. Beneath the building cloud, India is transforming. But in the driest parts of the interior, the land will take longer to turn green. Here, Indian wolves await the monsoon's bounty. This female gave birth back in winter, and the pups must soon be weaned. She is staking their lives on the monsoon to bring them fresh meat. Sheep and goats are the staple diet of most Indian wolves. And they go where the grass is greenest. A journey where old India meets new. Mahendra leads his livestock and his extended family on a never-ending quest for fresh pasture. They've been on the move for eight months. Now, with rain on the way, they're heading for their homeland. <laughs> The striped hyena is the wolf's main competitor and will often chase a wolf from a carcass. She too needs to hunt if she is to provide milk for her cubs. Home at last, just ahead of the monsoon rains. They will soon turn this barren land green again. The only protection the sheep will have is a flimsy net, and it must be up before sundown. Guard dogs have nail-studded collars for their protection. It's at night that the predators will come. When the light fades, a thermal camera reveals what the naked eye can't see. Warm bodies glow white. is not 
secure. Hyenas. Their scent drifts on the wind. The dogs have been bred to be fearless. And the hyenas can't afford to risk injury. through the top rope of the net. <laughs> Mahendra is surprisingly philosophical. For him, it's a small price to pay for the bounty he hopes the monsoon will bring. By the end of July, all of India, from the coast to the Himalayas, is transformed by a cloak of green. This is Rudyard Kipling country, the jungle book in all its splendor. Baloo, the sloth bear, knows the rains will bring tasty termites. Colonel Hattie and the troop have eked out a living on leaves, twigs and bark. But now fresh grass means they can range free and wide. For Shere Khan, the monsoon is a double-edged sword. Cheetle deer no longer gather at waterholes where they can be easily ambushed. But the fresh growth nurtures a new generation of prey. The cheetle team up with Langer monkeys. The deer's noses and the Langer's eyes alert to potential danger. Everywhere there's danger and opportunity, and both increase as the monsoon rains continue. At their peak, 17 million tons of water fall.